four, three. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the new Steel Pier show is on location again. Naturally, this does not look like we're out over the ocean. We're in the fabulous Sigma Sound Studios on South Broad Street. And this gentleman is Kenny Gamble. Over here is Leon Huff. And the gentleman in the middle is Joe Tarsier, who is president of Sigma Sound Studios. This is perhaps the happiest triumvirate you'll ever meet. And why not? The recordings these guys have made together and the songs that Leon and Kenny have written are sung and played on every radio and television station in the world. Did you know, folks, that uh, Gamble and Huff Productions are the seventh largest minority corporation in this country? Right here in Philadelphia. Do you remember what your first hit was? Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to thank you very much for permitting us to come in here. And um, we're right almost in the middle of a recording session with the Jacksons. And we're going to bring the boys in right now. All five of them. Seven, here they are. <laughs> Can we, uh, I mean, uh, we're shaking hands. Michael, you stay right by me because, Randy, can you get next to Michael? You can see how well staged this is, can't you? You want Randy to sit on the chair? Randy's going to sit on the chair. All right. Look how well staged and produced this is. Thanks very much, Joe. Appreciate it. Now, I don't have to give any introduction to these gentlemen, do I? You knew them originally as the Jackson Five. They're the Jacksons now. They record on Epic. And guess who is producing their brand new album? Gamble and Huff. That's right. That's right. Now, why would you guys come all the way in from California to cut some sides in an album in Philadelphia? Because the uh, Gamble and Huff organization is here, and uh, they're two of the best... Um producers in the in the world i would say and uh, cutting at motown that's something to say that. and plus yeah plus the sound uh sigma sound is a good studio also did you like enjoy yourself oh yeah, yeah. did very well i would say it's it's hard not to like it <laughs> <laughs> it's hard not to like it. michael would you do me a favor would you introduce your brothers Sure. I mean, it's a little ridiculous because with network television and animated cartoons, everybody knows who they are. This is Marlon Jackson. How old is Marlon? How old are you, Marlon? <laughs> 20. 20 years. I just turned 20. And Randy, the youngest. I'm 15. He's 15. That's right, 15. Don't say too much. You might not reach 16. <laughs> <laughs> and our oldest brother, Jackie Jackson. You're the oldest? I'm the oldest. You seem to be the quietest. Is there some reason for that? No, I guess I get it after my father. He's very quiet. So <laughs> everybody's quiet, but I speak out when my I turn see. comes. <laughs> All right. Tito Jackson. Tito? Yeah, I'm 23. Really? That's a nice age. You're Kenny Gamble. We're not going to ask you your age. <laughs> We're not going to ask Leon his age either. All I know is that I've been playing your records since the first time we received the release. And... Uh, I think it's, uh, I don't know of any other artists who had uh, four number one hits right in a row. Do you? Uh, I would say probably the Beatles or us. Yeah, that's I'm true. Say so. But you did something entirely different because your early hits were up-tempo, and then you came along with a ballad, I'll Be There, and that sold just as well as the others. That was yes, yeah, that was the biggest. It was? Yes. And you're originally from Gary, Indiana. That's right. Do you ever go back there? Well, when we do, when we're traveling, we may pay a visit in the city or whatever. And we see our house, our old house. <laughs> and the school, we love, you know, walking around and stuff. See our old friends. Yeah, now, there were some bad rumors going around, so let's put it to rest now. Because naturally, uh, when people are in the particular strata that you guys are, any little rumor, any little thing that comes up is bound to be blown all out of proportion. For instance, uh, when Jermaine left you, a lot of people were saying, you guys don't talk to them. I understand he calls you every day. Yeah, that's true. A lot of people think because he's not with the group, we're still not together. But what's more important than the business of being a group is the family. And we're still a family, and we do things together. 
Let me ask you something. Do you have nicknames for everybody in the family? Um, I have a nickname. My real name is Sickman, but my nickname is Jackie, and uh, uh call Randy Boongie sometime. <laughs> Why do they call you that, Randy? I don't know yet to ask Jackie. <laughs> They've been calling me that ever since I was a little teeny winchy. Yeah, how about Michael? <laughs> what do they call him? Michael, we call him uh, Meta. Uh, what else do we call him? <laughs> Giblets. <laughs> Why do they call him Giblets? I don't know. It's just a name for him. That's all right. You have a nickname for him? No, not really. Marlon is fine. And Marlon? Randy's real name is Stephen, and Tito's real name is Toriano. Well, I'll tell you, you really have me confused now. <laughs> but I know one thing. The Jacksons are sensational. Really. How do you enjoy working with them? Because, Kenny, you and Leon work with the best. Well, I think the Jacksons are really um, important to, um, to the image of um, young America. And I think that they represent a positive uh, approach to what show business is all about, and that's why I really enjoy working with them. Leon, is there a side in the new album uh, that really appeals to you as a favorite so far? Well, I, I don't really like to draw no conclusion to it's all finished. Then I'll make my... But I have favorites, you know, but uh, sometimes that brings bad luck. No. Well, I'm glad you said you didn't want to check with your accountant first, I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, it's been a terrific thrill for me who have been here in Sigma Sound Studios on location for the new Steel Pier show. And I can only welcome you boys to Atlantic City in the near future because I know you'll want to play there. You've played Vegas a million times, haven't you? Yes, sir. That's true. You will love Atlantic City. We will? Yes, indeed, because if things get tough, you just take a walk on the boardwalk. But we love the spectrum, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, yeah, I've seen some of those grosses. I can understand it. And now, let's listen to this new one from the Jacksons. 